my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a collection I'd like to share with you and this is the brand new Zoya Spring Collection. It's charming and it's six polishes and they sent me an email and the deal was is you could get like $20 off the collection and free shipping so of course I, I knew that I wanted it on that because I always love a good deal. But I have been waiting for years and years for Zoya to come out with a polish with my name, and they finally did it. I have a Tina. I am so excited. So I'm going to get this open and grab some swatch sticks, and we're going to check this out. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got everything set up. I've got some little swatch pop sticks out, and I'm going to go through the colors real quick and kind of try to describe them. This one looks like a very light baby blue with some blue and gold shimmers in it, and I am really in love with that. I just... It's an unusual color for me. And this one is called Amira. Hopefully that'll show up. And then the next one is another shimmer, kind of like the first one. And it looks kind of like a, I don't know, almost like a pastel olive green or something with some gold shimmer in it. It's very unusual too. I didn't even look at these colors really well. When I saw there was a teen, I just grabbed them up. And this one is called Lacy. Very, very unique. And this one, I've got colors kind of like it in my collection. I don't know exactly, but this is another metallic-y, shimmery looking color. And it's kind of fuchsia and purple and pink. Got, got that metallic going on. And this is called Millie. She is very, very pretty. Love, love that shade. And this is the reason for the whole purchase was <laughs> Tina. And it's a nice, pretty purple cream. It's kind of a medium purple, I guess. But there we go. There's Tina. And then the lighter, more pastel-looking purple is Abby. And it appears that Abby's just a cream also, but always good to have, especially with spring coming. And then another baby pink, which I probably own a gazillion of, but this one looks a little lighter. Maybe I don't have anything exactly like it in my collection, but this one is hard to read. It looks like it's Jordan. It looks like the label got a little messed up, but that is Jordan. Very, very pretty. So let's do some swatching. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, maybe I just need to move everything back a little bit. I want you guys to be able to see these be swatched. And this is how I do my polish when, when I get orders in. I always swatch everything, lay out some pop sticks, and get to painting. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> and I do make labels and with my little label maker and put those on there. That's the first coat. Let me turn this light around. I didn't want it glaring off of the pop sticks, but we need a little light so we can see the color and the shimmer in it. Very pretty for the first coat. And we're going to hop into, I forgot what that one was called already, Amira. And then we're going to do a coat of Lacey. I guess it would have helped if I'd have put the names on these pop sticks. That would help me go through these. And Lacey's looking a little sheer, but I'm quite sure it'll build up really nice. I've never had too much trouble with Zoya polishes. And that was very pretty. Let me get some more on here. Totally missed the side of this one. Very pretty. Very nice. I am, I'm, I'm excited about these because for the most part I think they're pretty unique. They're not going to be matching up with all the other spring collections that will be coming out from all the companies. Ooh, that's so pretty. And that's just one coat. Very sheer, just like the other two. And I don't really mind a sheer polish as long as it'll build up maybe by three coats. I have kind of a three coat rule. So there's that one. 
what was her name? I forgot already. M Millie, or Miley. Millie? I think it's Millie. Now this one, I know the name. <laughs> it's Tina. <laughs> so we're going to do a coat of Tina on a popsicle. And the next three are all creams. And I like that they do their collections like that. They'll have like three with a finish, or they kind of mix it up. It's not always all creams or all glitters or whatever. Very nice. The one coater. And I will have to look through my collection and see what we've got that matches these. And this next one is Abby. This is that lighter purple, lavender, or pastel purple. This one's got a really good formula on it. I do love Zoya polishes because they're normally pretty good about having consistent formulas. I have had one or two here or there that I wasn't as crazy about. Look at that. It's almost a whited out. But it's very pretty. I'm loving it. And then the last one is Jordan. I'm so excited about these. Really looking forward to some spring manicures and some. And now we're officially in March. We can get ahead and get started with our St. Patrick's Day manicures. I always like them. Alright, we're going to go back and do some more coats real quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very nice. Very pretty. And I do think two coats will be good. If you've got, it depends on how you do your coats. You might end up needing three. If you've got like really white nails that, you know, some people definitely have that visible nail line and they have to be very careful but right now mine are pretty short so I don't think I'll have to worry about that too much oh this is just so pretty really like that look at that I hope this shows up on film the way it looks in, in real life do another one. Oh, and by the way, oh, oh, we're having a catastrophe here. We're going to have to fix that real quick. We're having a mishap. Anyway, what's on my nails here today? Isn't it sparkly? This is the beautiful Morgan Taylor that my friend Sister Chick sent me. And this one is called Under the Stars. It is just gorgeous. Okay, let's get back to swatching. But I figured I better mention something or I'll have to write that in like a whole bunch of comments because everybody be like, what's on your nails? So. Oh, how pretty. These are the kind of colors that I'm telling you. I walk in a store and I see that in a bottle. It's like mine. And but that one's, I don't know that, I mean, I have a lot that are that kind of color, but maybe not shimmery. So that might be, that might be unique in my collection. We will see because I will be going through it. And I'm loving this one, this one with my namesake pretty happy with that. Very pretty. Very nice. <clears throat> and I am trying to save up some of my allowance. Y'all wish me luck, but I'm trying to save up some of my allowance for Zoya's Earth Day special. Because I missed out on their Black Friday deal that they had with the 70% off, but um, I want to at least get in on the Earth Day special, because I think that's normally about like 50% off, so I'm really trying to behave as I sit here swatching a whole collection, 
I am trying to behave so that I can get more when they have that that sale and it will be coming up very soon I really do like this light pink and it might need three coats it's one of those you know might need three just to make sure it's even all the way around all right well I got a couple of more things that came in with this you know if you spend a certain amount you get little freebies and I got another little bottle of the Zoya remove and you guys have seen my bottle many times I just put pure acetone in it because I love the size of it so I do really like this little bitty bottle of this and I have one more thing to show you that came with my little package here let me go grab it I'll be right back okie doke I'm back I got a Zoya lipstick and this one is called Violet or Violet I don't know let's see if I get this open without breaking anything. I don't know if y'all have ever noticed, but I'm not the most graceful. And this is my first Zoya lipstick, so I'm pretty excited. I don't wear a whole lot of makeup, but I do like makeup. And that's the packaging. It's very pretty. Of course, I've already got lipstick on it, because you guys know I had to try it. But it's a very pretty shade. It'll go with a lot of these. I think, it, I think it'll work really nice. But I'm really looking forward to that. But that, my friends, is all I have for today. I'm going to run through it real quick. We've got Amira, which is the blue. And then we've got Lacey, which is the greenish color, greeny gold. And then the shiny fuchsia colored is Millie or Miley. Millie? I think it's Millie. And then we have Tina. And then the next one is Abby. And then the last one we have, the baby pink one, is Jordan. So there you go. That is the new Zoya Spring Collection, Charmed. And I would love to hear what you think about this collection. Let me know in the comments down below if you've gotten this, if you got in on that special, or if you plan to get any of these. That's all I have today. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.